Hello everyone. Today we are in Great Britain and we are talking about beagles. Please watch this video to learn interesting facts about this dog breed. If you enjoy this video, smash that like button and subscribe to our channel for future interesting videos. The modern breed was developed in Great Britain around the 1830s from several breeds including the Talbot Hound, the North Country Beagle, the Southern Hound, and possibly the Harrier. The Beagle is a scent hound developed primarily for hunting hare. Possessing a great sense of smell and superior tracking instincts, the Beagle is the primary breed used as detection dogs for prohibited agricultural imports and foodstuffs in quarantine. The temperament of a Beagle is friendly and gentle. There are even tempered dogs neither too aggressive nor too timid. They have medium energy and are of a smaller build. Other Beagle traits are happy-go-lucky and loyal. They are also known for their soulful expressions. The breed was meant to work together in packs and consequently beagles get along very well with other dogs and prefer companionship. Beagles will look to their owners and families as their new pack. For this reason, among others, they make terrific family dogs as they love to be surrounded by energy, love, and attention. Not only do beagles make great additions for families, but also they can be great additions for singles or couples as well. Beagles love an opportunity to use their noses, which is why outdoor time is so important. Beagles make poor guard dogs because of their friendly dispositions, and they can easily be won over by people. However, they make good watchdogs because of their boisterous voices and howling. The average beagle has an overall height of 18 to 22 inches, withers height of 13 to 16 inches, and body length of 20 to 25 inches. A typical beagle weighs between 20 to 24 pounds and has a lifespan of roughly 12 to 15 years. Beagles used to be small. Smallest pocket beagles were at 8 to 9 inches tall at the shoulder. They were hunting dogs. They rode around in saddlebags and were released to chase quarry in thickets and the undergrowth. If you'd love to add a pocket beagle to your pack, there's a sad beagle dog fact that the breed no longer exists. Their genetic lineage died out sometime in 19th century and hasn't been recognized since 1901 by any kennel club. Oh, and buyer beware. In the modern day, teacup beagles may be labeled pocket beagles, but they aren't. These diminutive but adorable dogs are actually the smallest pups in the litter and may be prone to health problems. Unlike humans, who only have about 5 million scent receptors, beagles have about 220 million. These dogs are sometimes referred to as a nose with feet, because their nose tends to lead the way to whatever is picked up. The beagle's nose is so perceptive at differentiating between scents, it can actually be trained to recognize as many as 50 different smells. Because of this, beagles are commonly used in security and law enforcement to track prohibited or illegal materials, such as drugs or explosives at crime scenes and airports. You don't have to dig around much to find a beagle or two in pop culture history. These friendly companions have been involved in everything from cartoons to politics. Audie from the Garfield comics was a beagle. Snoopy from Peanuts was perhaps the most famous beagle. And Chilo was a hit 1990 film about a beagle and his boy. This canine breed has also been in the White House along President Lyndon Johnson and was a beloved pet of Queen Elizabeth I. Shakespeare even once mentioned a beagle in his work. The American songwriter Barry Manilow has adopted a beagle in the 70s and had named him Bagel. The dog was featured on several album covers, including the one featuring the singer wearing a t-shirt that read, I love beagles. Though rates have declined since their peak in 1979, animal testing is still very prevalent. It is estimated that each year in the US, between 40 and 90 million animals are used in research facilities that include hospitals, schools, diagnostic laboratories and private firms in the pharmaceutical and biotechnology industries. Sadly, the beagle is used in research labs more than any other dog breed. In an effort to receive consistent results and to streamline testing, one breed was chosen, and that was the beagle. They are used to test everything from household products to pesticides to new drugs. Before a pharmaceutical drug, pesticide, or chemical such as a food additive is made available to the public, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration requires that it be rigorously tested on animals. As we touched on, dogs are kept in very small cages. However, the reality of their living condition reaches far beyond this point. These beagles endure severe stress on a daily basis. They never know what it is like to have grass under their feet, to feel sunshine on their face, smell fresh air, or even chew on a toy. They never know what it is like to sleep or rest on a bed. The resting and sleeping surface for most are cold metal, sheets, or wild cages. Bright artificial lights, loud noises, crowding, constant fear in days, weeks, months, of years or distress, and even sometimes pain, can all culminate into severe psychology duress. 
Beagles are small dogs that look a lot like the smaller foxhound or even its larger cousin the coonhound, with his coat usually boasting patches of either black shades of brown or white. However, there's one tiny little physical trait that a true beagle must have, a white tipped tail. Breeders of beagles know that a true beagle must have this trait, even if it's just a few hairs immediately at this point. This white tip is therefore more than just physical appearance quality. The white tip makes the beagle easier to track through the woods, tall weeds, or brush because it is easier to see compared to the rest of the dog's body. While usually classified as a low shedder due to the very short coat, all dogs shed. It is a normal process for each hair follicle to fall out after it grows to a certain length and then is replaced by another. However, it is true that some dogs shed much lighter than others. When it comes to knowing this about beagles, this breed is a light cheddar. There are times when the shed may be heavier. This will happen to a more moderate degree if the dog lives in an area that experiences extreme seasonal temperature changes. Beagles are highly social creatures and often hunt together or track together to achieve a common goal. This means that your beagle will probably get along very well with other dogs. Unfortunately, this pack mentality also means your beagle may not take too kindly to being left alone for long periods of time. Some beagles are known to display anxious tendencies when left alone, such as destroying furniture or tearing down window treatments in an effort to get out of the house. Most dogs make different sounds, but beagles are known as being one of the most vocal dog breeds there is. Your beagle won't hesitate to speak when asked and may even be so vocal that it could be a bother at times. In fact, the word beagle actually is believed to be translated from the French term beagle, which means white throat or loud mouth. Telltale baying, which probably will catch them doing during a chase or if they get on a scent trail, is the trademark beagle sound. However, these dogs also bark, yap, and howl a great deal. They will whine and whimper to get your attention or communicate what they want. Some beagles are even trained to let out specific sounds according to what scent they recognize. Proper exercise can extend the life expectancy of your beagle. This is a breed that is meant to stay active. So no matter the weather or how busy the day is, do schedule daily windows to bring your beagle out for a purposeful activity. There are two types of exercise that a beagle should receive. Moderate exercise equals going for walks. Cardio exercise, short but intense bursts of activity such as running after a ball. The average adult beagle can run rather fast at about 20 miles per hour, while the average male human jogs at 8.5 miles per hour, and the average woman at 6.5. The walk should be at a pace where the beagle is moving along steadily, but not out of breath. You should walk your beagle for a minimum of 20 minutes, ideally 30, and some beagles may need up to 40 minutes. Cardio exercise should be short and a bit more intense. This should be provided at least one time per week, two times is optimal. You can choose from a variety of different ways to achieve this. Throwing a ball to your beagle and having him run after it is always fun for a dog. This type of play is also an excellent opportunity to teach your beagle some command words, such as fetch and return. According to supervisor Kenneth Hodgins of the US Department of Homeland Security, beagles are responsible for over 180,000 pounds of prohibited food that have been tried to be important into the United States within the last year. In 2015, the United States Army announced it's reached the final phases of training for approximately 5,800 beagles in conjunction with Operation Safety Paws, a program designed to assist and protect troops in combat zones. The beagles have been trained exclusively in explosive ordnance disposal and detection and will be deployed with the Army 71st Ordnance Group 79th Battalion, which falls under the 20th Chemical, Biological, Radiological, Nuclear, and High Yield Explosive Command. If you've enjoyed this video, please smash that like button and subscribe to our channel for future weekly videos. See you guys next time. Goodbye!